what is up guys? So I'm currently back home here in California. Um, I'm not home home though. I'm at Wade's grandparents' house. We are going to a wedding today. One of Wade's best friends from high school, Riley. She was one of his groomswomen in our wedding. And I'm so excited to be going to her wedding today. I just applied some moisturizer. I'm currently out of my regular moisturizer, which is from the Better Skin Company. It's the Miracle Moisturizing Cream. And since I'm out, I'm just using what was in my makeup drawers and it is the Simple Sensitive Skin Skin Quench Sleeping Cream. So it's for sleep, but I don't know. We're just gonna go with it because I did not have time to run to the store before we left. I'm gonna use the mirror on my Born to Run palette because this one has an amazing full-size mirror. I just applied this Bobbi Brown concealer to my eyelids. I'm using it to prime and I'm just blending it out. I am currently so, so hungry. And if you guys have ever tried to do your makeup while you're like super hungry and your hands are kind of shaking, you know the struggle. It's not fun. So the palette I'm using today is the Urban Decay Born Them Palette. It looks like this. Shades are beautiful. And they actually sent me this palette a couple weeks ago. Perfect like travel palette, which is what they marketed as and I really like it, I think it's awesome. I'm going to start off by using Weekender, and it's this light brown taupey shade, and I'm gonna just use that all over my lid. I'm not going too dramatic or anything for this wedding. I think I'm gonna take some of this like orangey pink shade, it's called Still Shot, and I'm going to apply that to the more outer section of my eyelid. Add in some nice, ooh, that's pretty. Add in a nice pinky shade. I put a thing on my Instagram story asking you guys for like questions of topic to talk about in my chatty get ready with me today. Trinity Lee says, when do you think is the best time slash age to get married? So I definitely don't think there's a like quote unquote right age. I just think it all comes down to where you currently are in your relationship. Where's your shampoo? Oh, it's in, I think it's in this bag. It's in that uh, Target bag. I like that robe. Hey, it's a towel robe. <laughs> it's cute. Bye. Yeah, I don't think there's a right age to get married. I think it all just depends on where you and your significant other are in your relationship and also where you guys are financially. If you and your significant other feel that it's the right next step for you both to take, then definitely move forward with it. I don't think there's a right age. If you guys ever have a problem with like shading and blending out your eyeshadow, go with a lighter hand. That was a huge problem I used to have when I first started doing like my makeup was I couldn't figure out why my eyeshadow always blended so harshly and I couldn't unblend it. It's because my hand was too heavy. So if you just go like super duper light where it's just like kind of like light and airy and feathery, your eyeshadow is gonna blend so much better. I'm gonna come back to my eyeshadow. I'm gonna move on to my face now. I am applying Urban Decay's Rebound Priming Spray. Heads up guys, this Get Ready With Me has a lot of Urban Decay products because they send me a lot of stuff because they're so nice and I actually really genuinely love their products. And this isn't sponsored by them at all, I just have a lot of their products in my makeup routine. Now I'm going to take my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. This is in the shade Golden Beige. And I just apply a little bit onto my hand. Then I take my Urban Decay again, a uh, Drop Shop Mix In Facial Oil and um, I kind of just mix it in with my finger. I always make sure my hands are really clean when I apply my makeup because that is one easy way to get pimples, get dirt in your pores. And now I just blend it all in. Wade and I accidentally slept for 15 hours yesterday. Last night, we traveled yesterday and we crashed at like 2 p.m. and then slept until like, I don't know, five or 6 a.m. We slept a lot. Melissa XO wanted to know, how did you know your husband was the one? So if you guys watch my wedding video, I actually say it in my vows. So the way that I knew my husband was the one was, it was just like a moment that I just knew. We were driving to this parkour gym that my husband likes to go to. If you guys didn't know, my husband uh, loves parkour and he's very, very good at it. Driving over this overpass in Hollywood and I kind of just looked at him and the sun was hitting him and I swear it like happened in slow motion and he looked so handsome and I kind of just knew in my heart, I just had this feeling like, oh my gosh, I want to marry you, I, I love you. And that's kind of how I knew he was the one. It was just this moment that hit me. And this was only on like the, I don't know, fourth or fifth date. This wasn't like years in or anything. And I wanted to tell him 
and I must have had this look on my face because I opened my mouth to just say it and he apparently knew I was going to say it and he was just like, no, not yet. He's like, I wanna say it first and I have something special planned. So he already knew he loved me and it was kind of crazy because it all happened so fast and we both just knew and yeah, it was pretty romantic actually. All right, now that my foundation's all blended, I'm just gonna blend it down, make sure I don't have any of those crazy like face lines that everybody in like the seventh grade used to have. Now I'm applying It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage. I'm just gonna apply that to my under eye circles cause they're pretty wild. I also like to bring it down under my nose because I always get redness there. This concealer is so good. I have the craziest under eye circles. To be honest, most of it's genetics actually. My family all has very thin under eye skin. I am really excited about today's wedding. It's in Solvang. Wade and I currently have a little issue though about going to tonight's wedding. So we totally forgot to book a hotel in advance and now there's no hotels left except for hotels that are literally anywhere from $400 to $900. So we might just sleep in the car to be honest. Wade and I have actually slept in the car before, once before, and that was, that was an interesting one. It was when we were driving from California to Minnesota in January, February, and it was super cold. And when I say super cold, it was below zero. So it was freezing. We were driving on the highway when a blizzard started, a full on actual blizzard where you could not see more than like a foot in front of you. And we had to go like 20 miles per hour on the highway because it was so dangerous. We couldn't see anything. And it was really terrifying. Like we had looked at the weather app and it was not predicted. It came out of nowhere and there was nowhere to stop because the towns were so far apart. The town we were planning on stopping in was still, I think 30 miles away and we had to make it there in this blizzard. So we're driving and finally, after like an hour of driving 20 miles per hour on the highway, we get to this little motel and Wade gets out of the car and he's like, just stay in the car, I'll run in. I'll get everything set up so you can just like stay warm in the car for now. And he finally comes back out and he looks all disappointed. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, nobody's in there. And I was like, what do you mean nobody's in there? He's like, nobody's at the front desk. There's no way to check in. So I don't know, I don't know what you wanna do. We can't keep driving because the blizzard is happening and it was crazy. So we decided to sleep in the car and both of us were like not really happy with that decision because negative 16 or negative 20 outside, it, it was so cold. So I put on all my layers. I wore like three pairs of pants. I wore like three or four pairs of socks. I wore a couple jackets and we only had one big blanket in the car. And Wade was like, you should wear it. You're always cold, I'll be fine. And I had an extra big heavy jacket. So I insisted Wade put it on. He didn't wanna wear it because he wanted me to put it on. And I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm totally fine. I have all of this stuff. And we went to bed. Both of us just sat in our seats and like reclined them back. Wade kept turning the car on to have some heat in the car so it didn't get completely freezing cold in the car. And then the next morning when I woke up, I ended up being fine the whole night. I was not cold because I had so many layers. I woke up the next morning to Wade still sleeping and his teeth were chattering because he was so cold and he was shaking. And I woke him up and I found out he had been like that the whole night. He didn't tell me because he wanted me to have all the warmth. And I was so mad at him because he didn't tell me because I was fine. I could have shared the blanket more with him. I could have, I could have helped. I was so mad. That just shows how sweet and selfless and kind my husband is. This is my favorite bronzer. It's so pigmented. It's long lasting. I have had this bronzer since January and I've used it like every day and it's still like, I haven't even hit pan yet. I even put some on the apples of my cheeks. I like to apply some bronzer on my nose. Now I'm gonna apply blush. I'm using Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Captivating. It looks like this. Shawnee Vinick wants to know how my husband proposed to me. So if you guys have not seen my proposal video, I will link it below as well as above. It seriously was one of the most amazing days of my life. I had no idea it was happening and it was really romantic. It was on a beach in the Philippines, in Boracay, and it was so lovely. Didn't expect it at all. I cried for two hours after it happened. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit. Jessica Madrigal said, what age did you get married? I got married at age 22 last year on November 19th of 2017. So our one year wedding anniversary is actually coming up super soon. It's Yamilith says, how was the whole wedding process for you? So to be honest, about half of it was so, so fun and I really enjoyed it. And then in probably like the last month leading up to the wedding, it was so stressful and horrible because a lot of the wedding stuff I did by myself. To be honest, close family did not help me that much with my wedding. 
my grandma was there for most of it, but my grandma is 93 years old and she can't, she couldn't really do much, which was too bad because I know she really wanted to. And the rest of my family was not really at all helpful. And my in-laws were in another state. Pretty much everything just kind of fell on me and it was really, really hard. I pulled it off though. I got married, we got married and it was a good time. Shannon wants to know, you are one of the most positive people I know. How to deal with anxiety, love you. I always try to be when I share content because I want you guys to be positive. And I try to be real with you guys and share the hard parts of my life, but I always want to encourage positivity. So for anxiety, I actually shared a video about a month ago talking about my anxiety, my journey with anxiety, and my tips for anxiety and anxiety attacks. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll also link that below. I feel like I've linked a lot of things below, but that video has all of the tips on how I deal with anxiety and how I have definitely improved. Look at Bunny. Oh, he's real cute. The big ears here for ventilation. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting fact about rabbits, the bigger the ears, the hotter the climate they live in because they regulate their body temperatures through their ears. All right, boom, eyeliner, side one, done. So while I wait for my eyeliner to dry before I fix it, because it's a lot easier if it's dry and then you fix it, because if it's wet, it smudges more and it's just a whole ordeal. But if it's dry, you can kind of just wet it. And then this is the highlighter I've been using from Trustique. And it looks like this, it's a rose gold shade. And what I do is I apply it on my hand like that. Cause I find that if I like apply it here, it removes a lot of makeup. Then I take my damp beauty blender and I just bounce it on my hand. And for after. I wish we were super rich so I could just buy everything on the registry. How cool would that be to just buy everything on a couple's registry? That'd be awesome. They'd like, oh my gosh, we got everything. Who, who, one couple, what? Actual goals, guys. Riley, if you watch this, we wanted to. For lipstick, I'm using this one from Mented Cosmetics. It's in the shade Pretty in Pink. It looks like that. I love this brand because they make cosmetics specifically for women and people of color. Now I'm just gonna fix this. There we go. Now I'm just gonna take out my hair. I have it curled from yesterday or the day before. And I don't think I'm gonna do too much to it because the curls have stayed pretty nicely. Honey, do you see a brush anywhere? Mm. No. A white brush? That'll work. I'll help you. And I'm just gonna brush out the hair. Run through my curls. If you guys want to see my how to maintain your hairstyle for a week or how to go a week without washing your hair, if you guys want to check out that video, I'll link that in the description also. I forgot to apply a highlighting shade on my brow bone and on my inner corner. Okay, let me do that really quick. I think I'll put the shade Blaze on my inner corner. And when I do inner corner, I do top and bottom. I think it's really pretty. I just realized I forgot something, guys. Um, setting spray cannot live without setting spray especially at a wedding that i think is outside in the california heat so setting spray essential this is urban decay's all-nighter pollution protection makeup setting spray pollution protection because we're in california gotta stay protected from the pollution there we go this is the finished makeup look mm -hmm. 